What is up here? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, in the ninth drop, we found Yuriko Skata as Mew, and in this episode, we are going to search for Rui, who mysteriously, well, no, actually not mysteriously, we know exactly what happened, uh, disappeared while Ren was watching the surveillance cameras. A ghost uh, stopped by and, and dragged, or rather led, Rui out of the antique shop, and now it's our time to search after. Ren goes in search of Rui, who has vanished from the antiques shop. He heads to the Veiled House, which is where he saw Rui in his dream. Oh, so we're going to be revisiting the Veiled House. I don't remember too many areas in there that we didn't actually explore the first time we were there, though. So I'm curious to see what we find. Ghost Marriage. I love the visuals with each of these drops. Ren checks the surveillance footage, only to discover that Rui has also been beckoned away to the mountain. He recalls the dream he had after he fell asleep. Rui was inside the Veiled House, a.k.a. the Watarai Residence. Ren knows this is where he must head next. Are we going to be there, or are we going to have to try and trek through the forest again to find it? In my dream, Rui was in that folklorist's house, the one that we searched before. I should check it out again. I might, I might find a clue which will lead me to Rui. Okay. So we'll head to the Veiled House then, I guess. It seems we're being led along this path. Alright. Naturally, we'll look over here. Do I have a map of the area? I do. Okay. Probably not going to find much over here, but might as well check. Rocks have blocked the road to the shrine. Maybe there's some other way through. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. According to the map, there should be a swamp here. But alas. Is this a separate abandoned building? As indifferent from Watarai's house? Everything got awfully quiet. This door must be locked from the other side. The wall is falling apart. I may be able to find a way in. Hmm. So we can probably try and walk around on the other side and see what we find. Hmm. Can I walk around the house like this? I can. Awfully foggy. Looks like here's our ticket in. Yeah, this building has definitely seen better days. Really quickly, just want to check for any items. Haven't seen any around the area yet, which is a little surprising. Here we go. I was like, is that a ghost back there? No, it seems like it's just fire. The storm must be locked from the other side. Okay, okay. Just waiting for that first enemy to jump out at us. Ooh, do we want to go upstairs? Not yet, probably. Oh, looks like it's uh, our only shot. Yeah, that's not a door either. Cool. Man by the fire. Oh, it's multiple of them. Come on, come on. Oh, seriously? I was like a split second late. I didn't even realize there was a second one until I took that first photo. Do not approach the Shadow Spring without the aid of the Forbidden Flame. The Forbidden Flame. Huh. Oh, and I just realized I'm still in Type 14 film. Ah, game. I'm going to try to get less frustrated this time around. In some of the episodes, I tend to get quite frustrated with a few of the mechanics here and there. But I'm trying to remind myself what exactly it is I'm enjoying about the game. Right? 
And for me, it's the environments. They're beautiful, they're eerie, there are incredible characters that we're learning about bit by bit. I've enjoyed each moment we have to gain insight, not in just their individual stories, but also how they overlap with each other. That's been one of the highlights for sure. And so just trying to enjoy and appreciate what I'm enjoying most and trying to let go of what I'm finding frustrating. <laughs> On Flame Keepers, an old text has been left atop a burning altar. It seems to be ab about being a Flame Keeper. The Forbidden Flame mustn't go out. It purifies water and drives back the darkness. The Forbidden Flame fends off the black water, and only those who hold the flame can stand the Shadow Spring. The Shadow Spring, that must be where all the black water spouts from, right? The Forbidden Flame must remain. It's also why we have the Purifying Embers, I'm sure. Oh, we've got customers. That are awfully close. And let's see, you are where? You're both over there? Possibly? I'll do that to prevent you from setting up a little fireball, I think. Oh, you're just back here. They're doing the whole teleport around. Where is this one behind me? I keep getting an icon that there's one to the left of me, but I don't see it. Ah, I was going to say, they almost overlap enough. There we go. It's probably partially the torches they're setting up, in addition to their own hitboxes. There's a lot going on on screen. Oh, that's another one of the torch things. You can take advantage of them to try to get shutter chances, which is pretty cool. Oh, you are awfully close, friend. Oh, what? I don't know what I got hit by. Must have been behind me. And unfortunately, I don't have my healing lens. Ooh, that was good timing. Move out of the way! Move out of the way! Okay. I think there's one on my right. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get the, uh, the shadow chance. Oh, the fireballs. What is on my right? Do you guys see all these icons? Fireballs. Come on, almost. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get it. Still did a decent amount of damage though. Oh yeah, enough to get the the kill, I think. Come on. Are you dead? Maybe, maybe not? I don't know. I'll take a picture. I guess that wasn't enough. I think I'm walking into fireballs or something. Oh, maybe he was just like stunned. Dang, that was a strong shutter chance. Now they're in sync and hopefully dead? Can I fatal glance? Nope, guess not. But we didn't come here. I need to get to the folklorist's house. Okay. However, we're learning quite a bit here. Bloodstained Note 2. An old text has been left by the fire altar. I can see black stains in several places. This mountain must end. You must take it with you. Do not leave it behind. Do not allow it to linger. Interesting. Who is this a note from and who is it to? Whoever it's to is presumably going to probably go to the nether and try to take the mountain with them. Or at least that's what they're being implored to do. Hmm. I think we came from that end. I don't want to miss anything in here. This seems like a neat area. I'm not sure we fully explored that upper level either. So I think we'll make a nice little lap just to be safe. Yeah, I think this is the stairwell we initially went down. So let's head on over this way and see if there's anything over here. There's another door there. 
and then another stairwell. So let's see what's in this door. You know what I could totally get behind? A Fatal Frame anime. Reliquaries consecrated by the Forbidden Flame protect the pillars from the black water. Oh, so these are the people that actually create the reliquaries. Without the reliquary, the pillar would soon be exhausted. Hmm. If the pillar fails, the black water will overflow. This cannot be allowed to happen. Interesting. As demonic as cultic they, uh, they seem, it seems like they're actually kind of on the same team as us. The Black Reliquaries. There was an old text lying on the floor. It mentions reliquaries in black water. The reliquaries protect the maidens from the black water. They are filled with the black water, and a maiden is shut inside. The maiden becomes a pillar, protecting the pure water. The reliquaries prevent the pillar from melting away, keeping her within the water. They must not be opened before the pillar has crumbled. The only one who can open the reliquary is the one inside. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm glad we came back up to explore. But yeah, I feel like a, a horror anime, Fatal Frame inspired, would be really neat. I definitely enjoy watching that. If it's done well, of course. There have been shows based on games I really, really enjoy that just don't do it justice, and I stop watching completely, just sim simply due to sheer disappointment. Shout out to uh, the Persona 5 anime. Is this where we came in? This is. Alright, back out into the wilderness. Alright, let's see, where are we? We're here. Actually, don't tell me the house disappears already. That map... We couldn't get in here, could we? The collapsed room. Oh, this is where we walked in initially, isn't it? But we couldn't get to the rest of the house. That was the problem. Okay, I don't think we're missing something from there. Now where do we go is the question. We're looking for that house. I don't remember the pathway to Watarai's house off the top of my head. But I'm sure we can uh, try and find it, right? <laughs> we have at the very least mapped out most of this place already. Some purifying embers. Nice, nice. Got some water ahead of us. What could possibly go wrong? Which way do I want to go? I guess I can go along the water. Give that a go. See what we find. Is that a reliquary? It kind of looks like one, doesn't it? go take a look. I'm also being told that there's an item. Oh, but it's not the reliquary itself. Just some herbal medicine. Let's see, can I interact with... Oh, no it's not, it's just a broken wooden pole. That's fine. Am I seeing flashes off in the distance? I am. From items hidden in the forest. Okay, anything else hidden in these little areas? Oh, yeah, apparently. Apparently a, a friend. Just rather eager to join us. Oh, hello. Oh, but we didn't get the fatal frame. Pretty strong shutter chance, though. Let's lock on. You still have a decent amount of HP. Yeah, look how little that did. But I think it's partially because we need to hit those to absorb the spirit power, right?
the whispering. Oh, we didn't get the shutter chance? Seriously? Alright, this should do it. Come on. What? What the heck? Wow, you are awfully close. Didn't quite get the shutter chance I wanted. Fatal frame at least. Not really doing all. Didn't take a ton of advantage of that, but it wasn't the end of the world. Now we can get a strong shutter chance. Get up nice and close. Ah, oh, that wasn't as strong as I would have liked, honestly. Oh, really? You had to die all the way out there? <laughs> Come on. I feel like that was a fatal glance we might have missed. Because that enemy felt fairly unique. I don't recall actually fighting that ghost too many times. How was I supposed to avoid that fall? I just kept backing up. So this is back where we were initially. Okay, so we've come full circle. Oh, but then having a little bit of a difficult time there. Got a little calm in the forest. Oh, hello there. Woman offering flowers. I'm glad we got that one. Just going for a nice, relaxing stroll in the woods at night. This is this is time to relax, enjoy ourselves. Is that an item on my right? Looks like it. I feel there's a lot been uh, there's been a lot going on in life at the moment that's keeping me really busy, and so sometimes I bring a lot of that tension and, and frustration to games when I play them it makes it difficult to enjoy them, which is unfortunate because that's, well, the whole point. Ooh, that's totally where it is, isn't it? But, um, trying to be a little bit better about it. Did we go all the way up here? I don't think we did. Ah, uh, should I explore it? I probably should, shouldn't I? I probably should. I know this is not that place on the map that I was just talking about exploring. But it'll take a while to get back there. We'll have to crawl under that log again, and we probably can't go in here, can we? We can? Are you kidding me? We can actually explore this? This is a huge area to explore, though. Alright, we're gonna briefly... And I mean really briefly. Look in here. And see if we find anything. Because I can't imagine they would lay a bunch of items throughout this area. Because it's a huge building with so many rooms to look at. This would be like, if there was a... Aw, oh, man. I was going to say, if there was a thing to hide, or like an item to place, this would be the where to do it. Shiragiku. Who is that? Journal one. A journal with a white chrysanthemum emblem. This belongs to the white-haired girl. Oh, question answered. Until I am seven, I am with the gods. I am unborn. When I turn seven, I will be human. That's why I will become a pillar before I turn seven. I am not too long for this life, but if I become a pillar, I will not die. I will be an immortal flower. I will go on forever, undying. But will I be alone forever? Huh. Interesting. Number of dolls are lined up on the illuminated doll stand. I wonder if it's going to let us go down here. It is? Seriously? Are we about to explore this, guys? The womb cavern? I don't think Ren has ever been down here, has he? Well, whatever we find better be good. Yeah, there's stuff hidden here. There are actually items to find here. 
Can I pick this up, please? Thank you. That's crazy! So we're actually about to explore this area. Anything down here? No. Still can't do anything with this. Wait, did you did you guys read that? The lattice door is locked and the lock seems to be broken. The way to the veiled house is further inside the cave. So we're actually supposed to make our way here? Well, that's a surprise. I didn't think the way to the veiled cave was through... Or the veiled house was through the cave. I thought it was just in the forest. You know, either way, we'll, we'll continue. There is that whole right side of the forest that we didn't explore. And it's kind of bugging me in the back of my head. But at this point, it's not worth going back for. If we emerge from the cave and are back in the forest, I'll take a look. But for now... Even the completionist in me isn't uh, masochistic enough to exit the cave and then go take a look at all of that before coming all the way back here. Only got so much time in the day. Okay. Two forest outskirts. Here we go. That was rather serendipitous <laughs> that we discovered the the cavern. <laughs> so here we are. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Ooh. Who is that? Is that the tall? It is the tall woman. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy that we managed to find this. That the items were essentially leading us in the right place. I'm just hoping in the back of my mind... We didn't miss a whole bunch of, like, really cool notes or journals or something hidden elsewhere in the forest. Oh well, I'll find out on a second playthrough. Let's head on in here, see if we can find Bui anytime soon. And if so, hopefully she's doing alright. Kazuya Sakaki in the hallway. Who was that? Was that Kazuya? Wasn't that, like... Ben's friend or something like that wait a minute why was there uh there was a glint right in here oh wow that's hidden all right well looks like that's probably where we're supposed to go so let's not go that way to start we'll explore around over here oh getting attacked by so oh a couple of these guys actually real quick nope wrong uh wrong deal but that's not the end of the world Get a little bit of double trouble here and come on come on come on ah oh, man we can run out of the way for a moment they're getting awfully close and attacking oh darn it now they're out here that's not ideal. Shutter chance to build a little bit of space, which is nice. Another shutter chance. I guess having the stairwell behind us gives us a little bit of flexibility. Ah, darn it. Should probably heal up pretty soon. I'm a little bit concerned. Where's that other one? I mean, I'll, I'll take this photograph just to get rid of that curse thing. Oh, there he is. Finally decided to show himself. Ooh, we got over a thousand points for that Shutter Chance. It's pretty strong stuff. Ooh, that was a good Shutter Chance, too. Where are they? Behind me? No. Fatal frame. Nice. Oh, music changed. Makes me think that this one died. But what happened to the other one? Did we already kill the other one? I guess so.
Oh well. Not the end of the world. That went okay, actually. What I was gonna do is try to upgrade Ren's camera. Because we haven't done that in a while. Probably as is usual. I'm not too interested in sensor or snapshot. Slows the enemy down whilst taking photos using the four continuous photos feature. Ooh, that's actually... it's actually kind of compelling. Hmm. I mean, I'm always down for loader, so we'll start with that. I should probably upgrade the output too, honestly. So I'll do that for now. But, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Anything else in here? I'm pretty sure we can check these drawers. Nothing of interest. Anything in this room? This room, we know, has uh, definitely seen better days. Quickly, are we able to get to these other rooms through here? Rui's Journal 5. I found one of Rui's journals. Seems she came here after all. Mr. Hojo came for me once before. He'll come for me again. I'm waiting. I will keep waiting. Waiting is all I can do. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. You can do more than that, Rui. You're a capable person. Alright, door's locked, so I guess we'll head on upstairs. Or can we go through here? I don't remember. We can. Now, do we want to? <laughs> Horror games in a nutshell. Ever since, ever since I saw her picture, Kazuya Sakaki ascending the stairs, that's the same sort of story that Keiji Watarai had, right? Do you want to go up that way? It's awfully ominous music. It's really well done. This room. I'm curious. The game saved, right? So I think this is heavily, uh, you know, like story-driven area over this way. So naturally, I'm tempted to go backwards and go the opposite way. But I think we'll want to continue like this for now. Interestingly enough, we haven't been attacked while grabbing an item yet. I feel like that happens all the time when I'm Yuri, or when I was Mew the other day. Okay, what's the layout up here? Can we go to the left? No, not really. That's not a door. Is there anything of interest in here? The row of bookshelves is packed with old texts in tiny boxes. The writing on the blackened spines is faded, but I can make out some. They're about purification rituals and shrine maidens. Fitting. Oops, there's somebody over here, right? I heard some whispering. Oh, there you are. Oh, really? Look, she was in the picture. She was in the picture. <sighs> what do we have over here? Oh, some herbal medicine. I should honestly probably heal up. Folklorist's Notes 8. I found an old notebook atop the desk. 
The old text found at the shrines tell of a disaster. The waters, tainted and black, flowed down the waterfalls, sullying the pools, and became a black mist that enveloped, enveloped the mountain. The sun turned a muddy crimson. The border between worlds blurred. Now the waters are clear and the mists are white. It is unknown whether this disaster actually happened or whether it was passed down as a mere cautionary tale. If it really did occur, what must the locals have thought? Did the mountain rumble, appearing shrouded in black shadows? Did the rivers look like long strands of black hair? Did people see the black water running down the paths? The truth is unclear. What is clear is that the waters now are clean and pure. Mm, they don't sound so pure right now. Or rather, we're interacting with the clean and pure waters, and the black waters are contained. The bookshelf is piled with more books than, I, than it can hold. I can't make out any of the old writing they're written. Alright, so which way do we want to go? Let's go this way, because it's a dead end. That's right, there's that creepy doll on the left. There's a black box in the middle of the room. Dark stains mark the floor as if something has seeped out. Hmm. Whatever could have seeped out. Pretty sure that's like some ammo on the floor there, right? Yeah. Can I pick it up? No? Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, please. There we go. Oh boy. You guys ready for this? End of chapter. Then, after having found Rui, finds himself trapped in blah blah blah. <laughs> Play as Yuri Kozagata, saving Ren, or something like that. Where am I? Where are we? What's here? Kazuya's note one. New looking notes have been dropped here. I recognize the handwriting. It's Kazuya's. I don't know where I am or how I got here. The last thing I remember is calling him on the phone. Maybe if he could have stopped me, I wouldn't have ended up here. The ceremony will start soon. This is the end. Oh, that's right, the ghost marriage. Which, of course, makes sense given the title of the drop. A Japanese stall in green clothing has been placed on the platform. Okay. Anything over here? Oh! Hey. I tried to get it. I tried to get the picture, I swear. Ruby is acting strange. Maybe it's one of the ghosts again. I should follow. <sighs> Let it go. Let it go. There's a scroll hanging in the alcove. What are we going to find around the corner? Hmm. There's no door over this way. But there are stairs. Hmm. What's with all the red? Obviously something's off. Okay. Looks like this is the only way we can go. Maybe it's like ceremonious. A partition screen divides the hallway. Rope hangs from the ceiling, decorated with several red cloths. Perhaps it's some sort of ward. Okay. 
There are small boxes and urns under the stairs. They seem to be filled with utensils for holding banquets. Checks out. Oh my. There's a lot going on in this room. Kazuya Sakaki looking at a photo. She was so beautiful. So this is the... the ghost who Kazuya saw and then, you know, was drawn to uh, the disappearing uh, house. But on choosing a bride, an old text was left on the floor. Grooms are brought in from other places. The groom makes his choice from illustrated votives. The wedding celebrant calls upon the chosen immortal flower, and the two are brought together. The immortal flowers are waiting for someone to join them in their caskets. All they can do is wait for a partner. They cannot choose. That is the immortal flower's final wish. Huh. Talismans hang from the walls and ceiling, amidst the images of couples getting married. Red cloths are tied to a rope stretching across. Look at some of these photos. Oh, they're actually... A lot of them are the same, but... Very interesting. These look like they're quite old, too. It's a tradition that must have been going on for quite some time. Naturally, we'll inspect this. Enshrined on the altar, lit with red candles, is a small box, behind which is an image of a couple getting married. Countless more wedding images adorn the walls and ceiling, but they're all somewhat dirty and appear quite old. Hmm. Did we come in this way? Or over there? I think we came in that way. Hmm. Just wondering for that one time we're gonna finally run into this old lady. I can, like, hear some music, right? Like an instrument playing off in the distance. That we're slowly approaching. It reminds me of Demon Slayer, for those of you that have seen that show. The the labyrinth-like house, where the demon's playing the sort of like drums on its body. No, I can't. Huh. So it seems like he might have come to his senses to some degree. Probably not before it was too late. What is going on in this room? It's like a storage area. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're a ghost trying to attack me. So naturally, we will uh, attack you back. Come on. Aw, oh, man, this is not good. I have like zero space to run and uh, I should not have done that four shot just because excuse me I can't see anything um, because it took forever to load afterwards I don't know where the ghost is there you are buddy old pal I'm gonna like need a fatal frame That was like a split second reaction there. It was really just because I anticipated it. Oh. We haven't fought one of these guys in quite some time, have we? Ooh, look at this armor here. That's a pretty neat touch. It looks like there are quite a few items in the area. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I <laughs> the game caught me off guard. I was so used to <laughs> them not getting me. I wasn't ready. I was like looking over at my recording equipment, being like, "How long have I been playing?" I found or on Bridehood. I found an old document. I can make out the words "ghost marriage." The bride chosen has an audience with her groom. If the man can look on the black water with unwavering resolve, the ghost marriage is successful. If it fails, he shall be placed in a separate reliquary. 
the bride will be returned to her casket alone to wait anew for another selection. That's a rather grim fate for the... the groom. Alright, so is there anything else to explore in this area? Oh, yeah, that's right, we can open these. Nothing of interest. Let's see what's through this door. Old katanas and cases filled with Japanese sandals are packed into the shelves. The boxes all appear to be filled with menswear. Okay. So now we're out here. Ah, oh, man. I don't like exploring. The door is now unlocked. But do you hear that? The instrument? Which hallway was this? I'm very disoriented right now. Is this where we started? Interior guest room? Oh, I think it is. Right? Yeah, because we came out here, that door was locked, and then we went downstairs. Got it, got it. Okay. I am reoriented. Kind of. Oops, we're not off the stairs yet, though. Can't turn just yet. Alright. But yeah, the inner, you know, explorer in me is like, oh, I really just want to, you know... <laughs> Check every corner, see everything I can before progressing the story. Especially when it adds so much, right, to our understanding of everything going on here. Because there was really a lot. Now this is where we came last time. So this time, I don't want to open that just yet. What was that icon here? Oh, it's probably indicating whatever's hiding where Kazuya was. Which is... Oh, I'm standing on it. Kazuya's note, too. Notes have been dropped in the shadow of the partition screen. Something has been written in shaky handwriting. I'm so scared. I can't stop shaking. I have to go. I chose her, so we have to die together. She's been waiting for so long. Okay. This looks like another little storage area. I can look? Oh. Why is that such a thing? What might I see back there? It's kind of odd. Am I going to be playing hide-and-seek eventually? A beautiful kimono is on display. That would be interesting. Just like Kazuya was sort of like maybe potentially foreshadowing by hiding in the, in the corner there. I'll have to play hide-and-seek with whatever ghost this is. I'd imagine this is where we meet her. Yeah, you guys saw it too. The saving. Oh boy, this is totally it. This is totally it. Look at this. These are all of the areas, and oh, if only there were actually a nice meal to be had. And then, of course, that's probably going to be like Kazuya's Notes 3, and this is where the ceremony happens. Oh, I'm so nervous. Regarding bridegrooms. An old text left the seat of honor in the banquet hall. I can make out bridegroom. The bridegroom's soul, after the ghost marriage, is bound with the bride and placed with her in the casket, so that the pillar can remain strong. The votive of the wedding is finished, and the groom's soulless body is interred in, in, the, ooh, yikes, in the Forbidden Valley. The souls of men driven mad by the ghost marriage are enshrined in unmarked graves in the Forbidden Valley. 
The corpse is placed in a reliquary alone and interred in the depths of the wound cap. Not a very fun fate. That's for sure. Okay, surprisingly we didn't have sort of like showdown in here. I was expecting a big battle. I spoke too soon it seems. <laughs> so let's heal up for a moment. And work from here. Okay. At the very least, this room is a little bit more spacious, right? So let's start getting... Oh man, that was too early. I didn't think she, she would attack uh, that early. Oh, so you are... Oh no, now I'm uh, flanked. Not good, not good, not good. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh, hello. We got a shutter chance, which is nice. Still, we're almost attacked by. Oh. So, we'll heal up again. And let's see from here. Oh, you are awfully close. Ah, oh, we didn't quite get the fatal frame. I'm trying to dodge. I thought I was in the middle of this little area, but I guess not. Can I not? What am I running up against? Oh, and now we're pinned again. Or flanked, rather. Right, so we'll turn around like this. Now we have... Ooh, didn't quite get the shutter chance, unfortunately. Oh. So we... Oh, ah, right. great, 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 great. I hit square to try to open up the menu to use an herbal medicine. And ended up just doing the the four shot attack into nothingness. And that wasn't a very effective shot. It's a bit too early again there. How is that not a fatal frame? Can I please move? Oh, here I am thinking, oh yeah, what's more spacious here? Everything should be fine. Shutter chance there was nice. But I still keep running into random little lanterns or meals. That was a good shutter chance. Alright, alright. Where did you go? You're probably closer than I'd like. Following me from the, the depths of my vision. Come on, keep going past her. Oh shoot, I don't like that. Oh, are you dead? Or what? Oh, I wanna get the fatal glance. Give me the fatal glance. No, I guess it wasn't an option. Well, it's not the end of the world. You still got like half your health. That's a decent amount. Now we should be able to get a nice stutter chance in. What? I swear I hit it. I swear I did that. <laughs> Naturally hit again. Just using all of our purifying embers. <laughs> Who needs them, right? <laughs> that should do the trick. Wait, is that like fire? What was that? It was very orange. Normally it's like a very white, 
fade, right? Hmm. Do we want to go left? Well, I was going to say, or do we want to go right? But it seems we don't have much of a choice here. What are we going to find over this way? bunch of water and those are those uh those flowers what are they called again the the red spider lilies i think are we finally gonna find Rui. that's not Rui. That's not our name. Chigiri no aitewa. Mo kimatte orimashio na. Sa hana yome ga matte orimasu yoe. Kojira e. Oh, is is Rui gonna be the bride? Are we gonna essentially have a ghost marriage with Rui, who's been chosen to be a pillar? Oh my goodness. And Ren is getting sucked into following along? This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Abort, abort. Get out of there, Ren, while you still can. We know what happens if you choose not to marry. You've read all about it at this point. What's going on in Ren's head? The woman in it, she's... Yeah, I'm not surprised that something's off. <laughs> uh, which way do we just come from? This is where we're supposed to go, right? To escape? Isn't this just where we came from? Hang on a second. I gotta get reoriented here. But I thought that was where we came up here, right? The door is now unlocked. Okay, can I go through it then? Oh, that's right, this leads to the, the entrance. I remember this stairwell. Anything in this room? We haven't explored it yet. Seems so. We'll check these drawers just to be safe. 
Oh, what? I didn't realize that could happen. They can attack me while I'm opening drawers, too? I guess... I guess it makes sense, given the animation and everything, but wow. And there's not even anything of interest. Killing me, game. Can we open this? This is a closet, right? Anything of interest? Doesn't seem so. Alright, well, we'll head downstairs. See if we can make it out alive. The door is being held shut by a powerful force. Mist is starting to fill the building. The veiled house may be about to disappear. I knew it. I knew we were going to get attacked by one of these again. Oh man, it's just like last time. Oh man, so we got to take this thing out, I'm sure, before we can uh, escape. This gave us a tough time. Last time we fought here. Let's look at that reliquary in the middle. I feel like we're playing a little bit more aggressively now. Oops, where are you at? Fatal frame, which is nice. Oh, I, um... I tried to hold off so I could get that fatal frame, but alas. I was like, I don't want to dodge, I want to get the fatal frame. Oh, Gooby's uh, struggling a little bit over there. Alright, now we should be able to get a shutter chance, I think. Just due to the number of things on the screen. Oh, that frame works too. Oops, that's not good. Where are you at? Come on. I know there are five in there. Oh, seriously. We're not going to be able to get far, far enough back to actually take advantage of all the different spirit things floating around for a shutter chance. Can I move, please? There we go. Wait, what? Oh, went away just beforehand. Almost, come on. Oh, I went back into her. Right, we're just gonna... We're gonna run this way. Give ourselves some space. Aw, oh, man. Photograph, really? Seriously, again? This thing's got to be close to dead. Yet again. I get a shutter chance. Actually, no. I probably don't want to, given how. Oh, she is the dead. What happened to my fatal glance? I tried to touch it. To no avail, apparently. Can we go? Now can we go? It's still being shut by a powerful force? Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll search for it. However, I... I have to go.
I was kind of hoping that'd be the end, because I've really got to get going. I don't have a ton of time. How are we supposed to escape from this area? Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to pause and, and come back to this in a moment. Okay. I am back and trying to get reoriented. We are playing as Ren, of course. And this house has gotten awfully misty. We tried to exit through the front door with no success. So now we're figuring out what in the world we need to do in order to get out of here. And failing at finding out. Something involving the phone? Do we try to go back upstairs, maybe? Oh, or no, this door is open now. Let's go through here. And see what we find. I remember coming this way before. And why didn't you say anything? You didn't answer me. If only you had, I wouldn't be. Yikes. explored this room before, have we? I don't... I don't know. Either way, let's open up these doors. It seems like they're just some closets. Nothing of interest. Can we go out this way? you see anything out there? Hmm... Can I exit over here, maybe? The door is now unlocked, so maybe this is my actual exit. Oh wait, no, it's just a different door. <laughs> great, great, great. Um, based on the map, it looks like we should try to go this way and then turn right. And on our left, we may have an exit. Moment of truth? The door is locked. The camera obscura is reacting to it. Oh, it's been a while since we've had to do a psychic photograph. Ah, so it's in that room. I mean, that's just nearby. There's something in the photo. Portraits of the deceased? That must be where the key is hidden. The portraits from the photograph must be somewhere in this house. Oh, are we getting attacked? Sounds like it. Yikes. Alright, well, we'll try to stay clear of those. I guess in the meantime, we can go back this way. Of course, as we backtrack, they're not going to make it easy on us. Oh my! Oops, we're about to get attacked. Narrowly escape. Got a shutter chance, which is nice. But it didn't take care of the ghost right in front of us, unfortunately. Where is the other ghost? Am I right above me? Uh, oh, there you are. Oh, hello. You are awfully close, my friend. A little too close for comfort. Wait, did one of them die? It's that, like, cry of agony. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How do we want to do this? That should make more of those uh, spirit things come up. We'll run away, run away! Unsuccessfully. Okay, back to the herbal medicine we go. Oh, interesting. We got the fifth frame. That was like very good. 
so there are three of them? I had no idea. Right, we're gonna run this way. We unsuccessfully attempted to dodge that. I didn't even realize we killed that one. Oh, you're not dead. I went in for the fatal glance. Little did I know. I still had quite a bit of juice left in him. Oh, we're getting attacked from the right, I guess? Okay. Oh. Nope. It's just difficult to get oriented and get everybody on camera. Okay. Another shutter chance. It's pretty nice. You're gonna reappear. Over here, I guess. Oh. What a picture. And... There's the fatal Fatal glance. Thank you. Through the wall. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, now the question is... Which of these pictures was it? I don't think it was those. Was it this one? No. Hmm. Which pictures was it? These two, right? Maybe? Maybe not. This one. Oh. I was like, that, that white icon was really helpful. My picture does not look like that, but I guess it works. <laughs> so we'll take it. Something fell out of the frame. You got the rusty key. Ah, uh, so that's gonna lead us out of here. Lovely. Ah, oh, but of course. Is it the Maiden of Black Water or just an enemy? So that did not count as a fatal frame. But we luckily avoided it in time, anyways. I wanna get rid of that curse thing on the bottom. Those are like my worst enemy. Oh, the Rui strats coming in strong. Rui is like the true MVP of this battle, I guess. There we go, come on. Rui. Nice, coming in clutch. Yeah, we're doing a ton of damage, aren't we? Rui, you're, you're a little too close. Too close, too close. Mark. Oh wait, he's attacking Gooey? Don't do that. We need Gooey for these expert strats. Come on, come on, come on. Gooey, get in there. Oh, man. Yeah, it's alright. We'll just do that for the time being. We go vertical? Yeah, that's pretty good. Fatal glance? Unlikely. Kazuya dropped something when he disappeared. Ah, so it was Kazuya. These notes are crumpled and heavily damaged. There's something written here. Kazuya's note three. It was over the moment I saw that. F it was over. Oh, it was over the moment I saw that photograph. I'm done for. The moment I fixed my eyes on that lonely face, I bound myself to her. I know that if I change my mind, I'm dead. I've been chosen to be her groom. I have to go now. She's been waiting for so long. She's waiting just ahead, but not for me. She's waiting for another. Ooh, Kazuya. Yeah. Met with a rather unfortunate fate, haven't you? I was going the wrong way. Wait, what? I don't want to go upstairs. So we have to go around this way, my bad. But Ed's getting quite the workout in. Running all over the building. Opening these doors over and over. Has the mist cleared up at all? I feel like it has a little bit. You 
open the door with the rusty key. Can I exit? Or I have to like reactivate, re you know, leave and enter the action zone for the doorknob. It seems we've exited. Any items lurking? No? Alright, then off we go. We've successfully retrieved Rui. What's going on in that head of yours, Rui? I don't know. Ren found Rui in a reliquary in the veiled house, only to be pulled in himself. He awoke in an unfamiliar building. An old woman dressed in white led Ren to a room in which Rui was waiting, dressed as a bride. This seemed to be the room in which weddings between the living and the dead are held. Rui suddenly changed into a fearsome bride wearing black. Then, in a flash, they were back in the folklore's house. There, they encountered Ren's friend Kazuya whose own wedding to a ghost went horribly wrong. The Veiled House vanished into the mist with Kazuya still inside. Ooh. Spooky. So we got an S plus here, surprisingly. Again, I still think I, I still probably need to ease up on, on how harsh and how focused I can be on the point system in the game and just focus on enjoying the other things. That was overall a good chapter. I liked exploring the area. I liked um, just kind of learning about the different events all the different rituals surrounding Mount Hikami, right? And, um, oh, interesting, I can already see this, uh, this image on the background of the 11th drop is image that is like an image that was used in a lot of the pre-order bonuses for the physical version of this game in Japan um, that I was looking at. So that's uh, pretty neat. And I'm looking forward to it. We're going to, as Miyu Hinosaki, we're going to look for Miku, which I think is her mother. We, um, we'll see, though. I'm not sure. Again, um, enjoying the game, enjoying the lore, enjoying the characters, love seeing the, the intersecting paths, right? Learning about these different rituals in sort of like a like a spiral manner, right? It's not one line where you progressively at the same rate learn about everything. It's like a, a spiral where you learn about things in, in kind of an awkward manner, at an angle, and then you start to veer from those things and learn about other things. But eventually you make your way back around and retouch on things that you've already learned a little bit about and then add to that and uh, you kind of go outwards in that manner. It's it's really cool. I like it a lot. And um, the combat is fun. I think it has potential. I think the environments can be one of the biggest hindrances uh, to battles, but it's not the end of the world, and it's also not the focus of the game, right? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and are looking for the next. But until the next episode, when we start the 11th drop, this is Mim Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>